Yesterday when we were in my dining room, we talked about using some of your recyclables, um, some cans, boxes, cardboard, different things that you have and turn them into new projects. And maybe you've tried that at home now, I've tried a couple different things, and you'll know that it can be a lot of fun. You don't have to have toys from a store, you can just find things and reuse them, um, and it, they turn into fun little games. Um, I'm always making teacher-made games for, for you kids, and you may remember this one. We haven't done this one in a long time, but this was my little baby bird with his orange beak and he has his mouth open wide just like Junior in the book um, because he's hungry. So baby bird wants to be fed and we learned from our story that baby birds eat or birds eat lots of things and mostly it's bugs. So I just have a collection of um, bugs here and should we feed the bird because he's oh so hungry. How about we feed him a big old grasshopper. So these are bugs that you can feed the baby bird. Oh, she ate that one up. How about a spider? A spider, just like in the book. These are some of the bugs that were in Flap Your Wings. The ladybug. Perhaps she'll like a fly. And certainly she'll eat caterpillars. And she's peeping for more. We have a few more to feed her. An ant. And a cricket. And the last one, a beetle. Oh, she gobbled those up. She was a hungry bird. And then at the on the other side, you can just make a little flap. And again, you can get them out and you can do it over and over. So that's a very simple game that you can do and you can name all your bugs and that was kind of fun. So the next thing I wanted to move on to, um, I made one of these yesterday and put it outside and was hoping that the birds would find it, but they haven't discovered it yet. Um, what I want to show you is a nesting kit. And again, I'm using my reusable things at home. You'll notice it's an orange bag because Miss Kim eats lots of oranges. I know. And so now it's empty, I have to go buy some more oranges. So since it's empty, I can turn it into a new project and we're making what's called a nesting kit for the birds. You are going to fill this with items that the bird will collect, the mama bird will collect and use to fill in her nest. So nests are made of lots of different things. I actually have a real one here, it's very heavy. I'm not sure what kind of bird, this, this was a nest from many, many years ago that a bird built in a wreath that I had hanging on my door. And they used it and then they only use it for one season and then they build a new one each, each year. So this was hanging around and I saved it because I thought it was really cool. It's really tightly woven with, as you can see, grasses and inside there's like different types of grasses. The back, it's other bigger grasses. So this is really, really, really cool. And it's, it's much bigger than most birds build. Usually nests are really, really small. So yes, we're going to fill this with items to make their nest warm. Actually, I think we're gonna have two holes here. Oh, that's kind of a hole, but that's okay. You can get the general idea. So you're gonna fill it with lots of different materials that you might have around your house. This is some soft cotton batting that would make their nests really warm and you can throw that in. And if you have any thick or thin yarns, this pulls apart. So the bird is going to seek this out and she's going to use her little beak to poke through the holes here and pull stuff out and bring it back to her nest. And as she's building it, it will, fill in with all these bits and pieces. 
So you can take your little scissors and snip small little lengths of yarn. And if it's very colorful yarn, that's good because that will attract the birds to find it. They like to find colorful things too. So you can snip as many pieces and you can just start to add all these things in. So I had already cut a few pieces of yarn and some more cotton batting that you can pull apart little pieces. Again, use your fine motor skills to pull it apart. Add these pieces in. Pull apart some more of this colorful yarn. So the birds, the birds themselves will find all the natural elements that they need for their nests. They'll find the mosses and they'll find the grasses and maybe some other feathers. But this just helps them, you know, in your own way, helping the birds by giving them something to look for that is warm for their nest. So you can just keep filling this up and then you could just tie it off with another longer piece of yarn. And you're going to put this somewhere near a window where you can observe the birds and see if they actually do come and collect some of these items to take back to their nests to use. So you'll want to hang it up in a tree near the leaves where they can easily get to it. And I'm going to hang this in my tree outside and hopefully, yeah, the birds will discover it soon. You could, they'll find it. They'll poke their little beaks through and take little, little bits of this and that. But if you wanted to pull some of these things out, through the holes, you could do that as well. But yes, try this project, and I'm going to take a picture, hopefully, of um, a bird using it outside my window, and if you can also take a picture, if you find any um, birds doing this as well at your house, take a picture and send it to me through Hi Mama. I'd really be interested in, in seeing that happen. So thank you for doing this project with me, and I hope you are able to do it at your house. See you later.